Back in the 900s, King Liam the Careless sought to extend the dominion of the Irish to all of Britannia. He quickly conquered Wales and the petty kingdom of Mercia. To facilitate further conquests into Northumbria and Scotland, Liam married his heir into a Byzantine dynasty in order to forge an alliance and bring forth the imperial armies to his cause. At the last moment, the Byzantines switched the marriage to a matrilineal wedding without Liam noticing. He really was careless after all. Liam died before he could further his conquests, giving the throne up to King Andrew II. He did not wish the Irish throne to fall to the Greeks, but the wedding his father put him into would do just that. Now with the power to change fate, he acted. He imprisoned all of his children, being not of the Irish Horning dynasty. He then executed all of them, as well as his wife. He then married again to produce an heir of the proper dynasty. This is known as King Andrew's Massacre. King Andrew II was later approached by a heretical priest who converted to the Cathar faith. Having won a civil war against the dukes of the English territories, he had many of them in jail where he asked them to convert to the new religion in order to be released. They all agreed. This tyranny would eventually catch up to Andrew II as he died under suspicious circumstances, without producing an heir. Now the throne belongs to his brother, King Liam II, who wishes to continue the fight for Britannia. Of course, he is an Irish Catholic in a realm half consisting of English Cathars. Religious and cultural issues may prove to be the kingdom's undoing, or perhaps the carelessness that seemingly runs through the Horning royal family. <laughs>